Hi, welcome to our community. Susie Thomas with you this morning, and so happy to welcome our friends from the Total Living Center, Sarah Kime and Aaron Bartow. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Total Living Center is another one of those places that we shouldn't only think about at Christmas time, (laughs) but we definitely think about a lot at Christmas time. So let's, before we get into everything for Christmas, Mm -hmm. what do you do the rest of the year? Let's talk about it. Lose our minds. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? And what causes that, Aaron? Oh, uh, the neighborhood, <laughs> yeah. Canton, and all the lovely yeah. situations it presents. Your ministry there has gone on basically for how long? Uh, about 28 years. Um, and in case anyone's not familiar, we're a ministry for the needy. And uh, we view that in a lot of different ways. Can I? Please. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do, but, uh, Go yeah, just for it. In case anyone doesn't know. We're for the needy, and that's kind of an interesting term because people tend to think of that as helping impoverished folks. But the way we view it as the community as a whole, uh, there's a lot of needs. Mm -hmm. You know, one need being obviously physical means. So we have a meal every day of the year, 365 days. Whomever comes in, we welcome them to eat, regardless of race, color, creed, whatever. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also give away groceries and clothing for men, women, and children, free haircuts. We just opened a free laundromat with free laundry detergent. Oh, my yeah, goodness. So call awesome. Up, yeah, make, a, make an appointment. Mm-hmm. But those are things uh, that we try to meet uh, physically for those who might be financially impoverished. But we also believe that um, there's a lot of emotional and spiritual needs in people that regardless of what their financial situation is, they are still in need. And what we find and we, our faith teaches is that mm-hmm. to help your brother or your sister in love and to, to give rather than worry about receiving, you know, that generosity of the heart and of love, that is very healing and meets a need that's essentially permeated our, our whole community, really. In that's some a sense. worse kind of poverty, isn't <clears throat> it? Absolutely. Huge, yeah. huge. Because mm-hmm. then no one knows your pain. It's, it's, it's a pain, a need. Uh, that's within you, that's so hard to express and, and probably even harder to heal, except for, again, what our faith teaches of loving on your brother and sister to help them. So that's why we invite the whole community to be involved in the Total Living Center, not just, hey, we got some poor folks down here, and why don't we just feed them, and, and then we're doing a good work. No, 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 come help us feed them, you know, and watch yes. how much that helps you, you know. Mm, and, and, isn't that true? Yeah, Amen. This was started 28 years ago by, if anyone recognizes that last name, Bartow, Pastor Bartow, (laughs) your grandfather. (laughs) Father Bartow, some people call him. Father Bartow. (laughs) What a sweet, sweet man. Yes, he does. He always wears the clerical (laughs) collar. You, however, so humble, last name Bartow, could throw that around a little bit. No, you wear a a name thing that says employee. (laughs) (laughs) I forgot to take this off when I came (laughs) give no hints at all. <laughs> no. In fact, my grandpa kind of got on me for that a little bit. It was just a couple days ago. He's like, Aaron, you can't just have a thing that says employee. <laughs> like, no one knows who you are. And yet, yeah. and yet that's that's what you do, because yeah. I, I think that's kind of cool, actually. Oh, very, yeah. very, very yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate it. But uh, what was it that made you pick up his torch and continue to carry on there? Need. My own need. You know, mm-hmm. I, I dealt and deal with. Sarah can attest to this as well. We both, we understand the oppression that comes with uh, emotional suffering, whether it be depression, anxiety, loneliness. You know, we know that. We also understand deeper needs, like we understand addiction. We understand um, lifestyles that lead us down a, a path of, of uh, selfishness takes you there, and then the end mm-hmm. result is loneliness and hurt and pain. Mm-hmm. And we know that. So here we are together operating. It, this is not we don't feel like, oh, we're helping the community. Look right. how great we are. No, no, we're getting healed, too. We're mm-hmm. all in this yeah. together. We so. are. Amen. It's our mm-hmm. own healing that brought mm-hmm. us to help others heal. So that's why we picked up the torch. And mm. I think we kind of bridge a little bit of a gap, too, for your grandpa, who is not familiar with certain <laughs> life ta- yes. lifestyles. Sure, and sure. So we're kind of extra feelers for him down there. Sure Would well, you be the millennials? Would you fall into yeah, that? I yeah, guess we are. Just, yep. at just 35, we just made <laughs> the, <laughs> the millennial <laughs> certificate. So that's awesome. So you, you were bona fide. Yeah. You know, it's uh, really quick, if I can about that, what's really funny is a couple of weeks ago, um, I had struggled actually with situations that are going on with our community, with the opioid epidemic, right. with uh, there's some violence issues, et cetera. And I, I, I the Lord really dealt with my heart to where I wondered why the situation had gotten so out of hand at the Total Living Center. Mm. And you would look to the founder and be like, you know, well, why didn't he do something about this? You know, but 
God really pierced my heart so hard. It's like, Aaron, he founded this place, mm -hmm. but it's your responsibility to handle. He has no idea what that what it is to be addicted, what it is to to deal with with violence and crime in your neighborhood. The dude grew. I mean. He grew up poor as poor gets, but didn't commit crimes, wasn't addicted. I'm sorry, I'm right. But we do. We know that. So it's our responsibility now to take on this new generation of need. When you talk about a 91-year-old man, he really grew up in a completely different America. <sighs> Absolutely. Oh. But at the age of, I mean, he was almost in his 70s? Mm. Uh, 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 Mid-60s, yeah. Mid-60s mm -hmm. when he founded this. So he mm -hmm. certainly wasn't... Or around the time some folks are retiring, he was just looking around saying, what else needs to be done? Yes, yes. And that's just absolutely admirable. But yeah. how nice, how awesome of you to figure out, okay, let us help interpret now the world we live in today. Amen. Yeah. So well put. Well, you've got stuff going on. So you, <laughs> you are always offering these kinds of things. I'm going to say, before we move on to specific events, sure. you've got needs for volunteers and mm -hmm. finances, right? Mm -hmm. So what kinds of things can volunteers do at the Total Living Center? Uh, you, go ahead. Are you with me? Uh, yeah, I was say, Either one. I don't, Jump I'm on just, in there. I talk too much. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I interrupt right. people. But, um, well, as far as volunteers are concerned, um, skilled volunteers who can do some sort of carpentry work mm -hmm. or anything like that, th those are absolute premium for us. We very rarely get that because time is money for a lot of them. And we understand that to volunteer time is a, a sacrifice, you know? And um, so, okay, I'll give an example. We have a room full of um, these beautiful T8 uh, lighting fixtures that Altman Hospital had donated to us wow. after they did renovations. They're, they are second to top of the line in as far as uh, lighting efficiency, which for us, that saves us thousands of dollars awesome. in the years mm -hmm. to come. However, we don't currently have skilled electricians to install them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like they're sitting there and there's like such a, a great gift for us, but what do we do? You know what I, mean? I believe there's an electrician listening right now yes. that will say, oh my goodness, I can do that. Amen. I can help you. That's Amen. what I do. We're so with you. when believing. that person... Uh, you says, are. Thank you so yeah, much. Exactly. Thank you in advance. How do they get in touch with you? What's the best way to get in touch with you and tell uh, you that? Well, they could call us. That's okay. a real easy way. What's and the number? That number is 330-455-3663. Let's give that one more time. You did that really well. But let's give that one more time. 330-455-3663. Great. Awesome. Do you have a website as well? We do. It's uh, totallivingcenter.org. Easy. Yeah. Couldn't be easier. Yep. Couldn't be easier. <laughs> okay. Totallivingcenter.org. Uh, just the name says it all. Total Living yeah. Center. Is you're trying to really care for the entire person. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're, I think a lot of people think of you as a men's place to drop in, but sure. this, it's not. No. It's for families. It's for everyone. You the serve everyone. Yeah. Tell me about some of the people you serve. <laughs> Well, it, it's it's a gamut. Please. Sarah, I'm so sorry. I'm talking. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. Sarah, tell me about some of the yeah, people you yeah, serve. Yeah, yeah. Just... It's it's really a whole array of people. I mean, we have everywhere everyone from um, um, you know, a single mother with five mm. children mm. to um, there's actually a gentleman who lives in Jackson and he just prefers to come down and um, enjoy the experience of a church that also is serving people at That's the same cool. time. So yeah, we have a really interesting mix of people. Yeah. And um, we just actually, this past week, it was really cool. Um, Aaron decided to have some of us at our service get up and kind of talk to one another. And you learn some really interesting things. Like there's a lady <laughs> who comes that, um, you know, she's by herself, single lady. And, you know, you assume that there are some people who just come for the grocery service. And she said, no, I want you to know that I come because spiritually this fills a hole for me. Mm. So, so yeah. yeah. Amen. It's really cool. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I'm just taking right to the woman at the well where getting the water that you <laughs> don't ever get thirsty again. Right. You're talking Amen. about the, yeah. the real thing, the deeper thing. Yeah. But it's hard to get there without taking care of very basic physical needs as well. Absolutely. So that's that's what you do. You take care of what, what people need Amen. at the same time. About how many do you serve? It depends on the day, but... Um, Usually, we, we average between 75 to 100 people who mm. come in for lunch, um, and then anywhere from 
80 to even 150 who would come in for dinner and groceries. Um, and then our laundromat, it's so hard to say. We, we'll make a lot of appointments and a lot of cancellations. But mm-hmm. I would say probably in an average day, what, about 12 people or so? 12, 12 loads, you know what I mean? Like uh, uses of laundry, 12 to 15, something like that. And, and when I say load, we have three commercial washers, three commercial dryers. All three are being used. That's one load. So I say about mm-hmm. 12 of those. So what would that be? 36 loads of laundry. It sounds like a full people. laundry day to me. Amen. Yeah, we go from start to end of the, of the business day. That is just remarkable when you think of the difference. That alone, if Amen. that's all you did, what a difference that would make yeah. in yes. somebody's life. And what's really cool, too, is we had a few um, recruits lately to come in and help us with the laundry. And um, I, you know, I really have come to see that they actually enjoy being down there <laughs> as, you know, it's not like a job to them. Like their, their outlook on life is different. You know, mm-hmm. we have um, actually, my mom is one of them, yeah. and um, you would never know that she has very bad back problems because the pain is just – she doesn't think about it when she's there, and she's mm-hmm. helping people. So it gives back just as much as – Isn't that something? Um, yeah. Isn't yeah. that just the way mm-hmm. it is when we're not thinking about ourselves? Yep. I'm telling you. It yeah, is. Every single time. And to think that you could <laughs> be contributing to somebody – by saying that red thing, you don't want to throw that in with the white thing. Right. You know, just <laughs> but, that, it means something. but it does mean so. Otherwise, fella, you're going to be walking around with a pink shirt for, and maybe you don't want to do that. Yeah. But yeah. but the the fact that that could make so much difference in somebody's life, Amen. and yet it does. Amen. Yeah, absolutely. So very cool. So I'm guessing that these volunteers, any age group, anything you're looking for, who describe a volunteer to me. Uh, well, I wouldn't say any age group. Um, okay. If minors do come in, uh, certainly they have to have their their uh, parents with them mm-hmm. um, or some kind of you know guardian. Um, and then you know above eighteen. Uh, and, and yeah, volunteers. They anything from helping us uh, like put together mailings or or set up tables or mop floors or serve meals, cook meals. One one amazing thing that we actually had folks from the Canal Fulton Rotary volunteer to do is um, they we're hoping that there's groups of people who wouldn't mind cooking a dinner mm-hmm. and then bringing it in and serving it. Um, we, we'd like – we're pretty short-staffed every day, you know, and, and, and uh, it's sometimes it's hard to get – tomorrow's dinner done today mm-hmm. we have to manage today so it'd be great if folks were like hey we'll cook the dinner we'll come down and serve it you know and, and kind of connect with that community so that's kind of our first group is doing it and you have your own kitchen right? yes yes you, oh yeah commercial kitchen that. yes we do. We do. so people don't even have to cook it and bring it they can just bring all the stuff and they can cook yes. it there they can also do that so both are, are entirely viable options either one um, either one yeah is, is Deeply appreciate it. One thing that that would be great for would be a company or a business, an office to get together and say, let's let's take a day and Absolutely. do that. Amen. Just uh, a great way to do some team building and great <laughs> yes. camaraderie. I'm thinking yeah. Sunday school class, Bible study, book club, garden club, yeah. your nonprofit group that you love getting together with. Uh- Marathon Oil's Gift. coming to do it. Oh, yeah, that's they're awesome. doing it. Yeah, they have team building called. They're coming down to help us out. It's yeah. perfect team building. <laughs> Awesome. Tell me about the people. I think the only thing that would restrain someone from doing something like that is they're afraid they might say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing around clientele. And I'm looking at the clock. So think about that question while we go to a commercial. And then we'll be right back and we'll let you talk everyone into not being afraid to come on down (laughs) and meet these awesome people that use your services. We're going to be back after these words. You're listening to Our Community.